guys, welcome to the second episode of How To. Today we're talking about gimbals. Do you need a gimbal? You have seen a clip that I have shot handheld. We're gonna be talking about using a gimbal or not using a gimbal. Having a gimbal is a great advantage, but as a basic filmmaking, for example, when you're using your phone, you don't need it. You have to learn how to film without a gimbal or steady cam. Let's see how we do it. For the purposes of showing you, I'm gonna be using my iPhone 8 with moment lens and as a product, uh, my Sony A6000. I'm actually using this one for most of my videos. Cheap and very good video quality. All right, let's do it. Well the, most imp well, the most important thing is to hold uh, the camera properly. So in this case, I'm holding one hand, second hand, like this, and doing moves like these and like this. You have to have your hands very steady, like this. And slow motion, not a slow motion, I mean you have to move very slowly. So, for example, it will look like this. You can see it's a bit wobbly, but it doesn't matter. If you're using, for example, Premiere Pro, you can fix the wobbliness so with a warp stabilizer or a different stuff. For example, slow motion helps you to stabilize your footage. So remember, like this. It is important to remember that uh, nowadays there are a lot of apps which will allow you to uh, do a slow motion. For a smoother footage, definitely use the slow motion. That's the thing that helps me all the time. Even with, even with gimbal, sometimes I make a mistake. Slow motion helps it. So. The question was, do you need a gimbal? Nowadays gimbals are fairly cheap if you're using your phone, DJI Osmo 3, great thing, but it doesn't allow you to do all the stuff, so save up for a more expensive gimbal, which will allow you to do everything and you, will put, you can put there a bigger camera, like for example my uh, Sony A7. Uh, to summarize it, the gimbals are very useful, I use my Zion Crane Plus all the time but in the beginning I would recommend uh, learning the handheld filmmaking you will use it with your gimbal too so this is a, a general knowledge very useful I believe that's all and thanks for watching and I will see you in the next episode